All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Council Craft. And today, oh man, today we are taking up another project in this area. Actually, right here to be more specific. But before we can do that, we have a humongous project to take care of. And that is lighting up all of the caves in this area, which is going to probably take me about four hours. Let's get lit. literally took like four hours you guys saw it in like 10 seconds let's get it so we are back in the village and we are heading to the market wait let me back up a little bit <clears throat> market and yeah we are here because we have some shopping to do i've actually been doing most of my shopping in this section over here we've been buying out all the gravel all the sand this is uh, where most of that concrete that we made for the bees last episode came from and yeah Anyways, we are here for, yes, a little pricey, but we are here for red nether bricks and we need like 10 stacks. So three times 10, that's 30. Yeah, let's go. We keep the economy moving out here. Look, man, we got to spend diamonds to make diamonds and look at them go. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. I'll just throw that in there for now, whatever. And while we're here, we actually own this shop. But because we lost our piglin farm when the nether reset, literally so long ago. Like, this was so, so long ago. But anyways, because we lost our piglin farm, this shop hasn't really been able to get stocked. But that doesn't mean that we can't take this because we actually need a lot of this leather. We're going to yoink that and we're out. All right. Now that we are home, it is time to roll the intro. Roll it. Okay, so, uh, so this is what we actually needed the leather for. We need to make a couple of stacks of books. I think three is enough. We'll keep the rest of the leather on hand. And that is because we have to level up our villagers. And the best way to do that is to just buy hella books from them. And why are we upgrading our villagers? Well, it's because we want... Wait for it. Wait for it this right here glass this is gonna make glass collection so much easier for us and it's gonna be the next product that we stock in our shop so i need tons and tons and tons of this glass stuff so i'm gonna trade my ass off for a little bit and i'll be right back and by the way if you're curious to see how many torches we actually used i did this entire thing here plus like another row and a half in my actual inventory so like half a shoulder box but yeah, in here we just have reserve coal, and on this side, we're gonna store these torches. Hey, also, quick pick stop. Oh, whoops. We need a couple of stacks of this, so. Oh, and I also picked up some sea lanterns as well. Trading, trading, he be trading. Faction trading, time lapse. Time lapse trading, faction. All right, now that all that trading is done and we got all the stuff that we need, I have finished putting together all the boxes of all the stuff that we need a little bit of dye <laughs> um then we need all that red nether brick that we had the lime wool some mang blocks hoppers rails and shit you know you know tons of glass this is going to be so expensive on glass but that's why we did the trading uh then tons of sea lanterns and on top of that so much freaking birch wood by the way we got all that birch from when we were doing the beef like farming stuff over there and yeah, it's really good because now we actually get to put it to use. And as a final piece, we need to convert all of these melons into jack-o'-lanterns. This is cool. I like this aspect of Minecraft. Like these little tasks. I don't know. They're cute. All right. But before we get started on our slime farm, I have a little update for you guys. So you guys remember last episode when we did this area? Well, a few of my friends decided to move in to the area. Now, where did they move in? 
If you pay attention, you'll see that there's little windows now on the white bee and the pink bee. So this one is Juju's. Let's check it out. Boop. Bro. <laughs> That's so cute. Dude. Oh my. Damn. Damn. Look at this flex. Ooh, I like this. This is cool. All right, this is some anime shit. Damn, bro. He just... Oh, more anime stuff. What the hell? All right, first one to comment every single one of these animes in order. So this one, then this one, then this one. Juju's going to reply to you. I don't know. Dude, this is so cute. I like the little roof that he did with the quartz and stuff. Oh, wow. This is awesome. I'm almost sleeping in his bed. All right, next. We have this, dude. Oh my god, I really like the windows. Yeah, the windows are super cute. Ah, uh, I'm trying to figure out what this is, but I, I can't. It just looks like a bed frame with no mattress on it. <laughs> oh, whoa. We got Keisha and Luke. Look at what, idiot. Dude, this guy has like the whole jungle. What the hell? Aqua, Megumin. That's, that's a less like, that looks like an anime name. Name me. Oh my god. Wait. Is this name tag so we can name him? No. Thinking too meta. Rico, Kazuma, and Dark. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Just a bear. Oh, this is cute. Dude, this is so nice. Wow. Oh, these are really nice banners, actually. Seems like it'd be a little hard to sleep. I mean, overall. I really like this. <laughs> All right, well, that has been MTVBs. But without further ado, it's time to get our schlat together. Let's go. Check it out. We got our slime farm done. <laughs> so when you come from different angles, it has different faces, right? This one and that side are like mirrored. And then this one on the side is a little sad face. And then every time that we come out of our base or we're heading towards the bees, we can see a little smiley. I love this farm. It's cute. It's efficient. It has a storage on the top, which I haven't AFK'd this at all. But as you can see, it is definitely productive as hell <laughs> so let's go down here and check it out oh by the way this is this is what we needed the red nether brick for and yeah lots and lots of birch i'm pretty sure it was a total of 60 stacks of birch 
yeah, insane. <laughs> but well worth it because it looks super, super nice. And then we have this nice green streak all the way throughout the farm where all the slime balls go through. But yeah, the magma cubes, they spawn in this area. And if I turn on the light levels, you'll see that all of this is all lit up. And that's because slime, when in a slime chunk, are the only mob in the overworld that can spawn in full daylight. It doesn't matter how bright it is, they can still spawn. So we have jack-o'-lanterns for lighting, and that's keeping everything lit. So when the slimes see the iron golems, they jump down here, they land on here, they start dying. And if we break this, we'll come down here to the underbelly, where as you can see, Minecarts pick up the slime blocks, or slime balls, and they go about their way, they start picking up again. And we have the same thing on both sides. So we pretty much just combine an unloader, and then in the back we have a dispenser, which shoots out the slime balls. And that's how it gets to the top. So yeah, overall, it's actually a really simple farm to get going. It just becomes very expensive and tedious when you want to make it look pretty. Which we obviously did, because, I don't know, I think it's well worth it. And with the world download coming in soon, ha ha ha, I want to make sure that things look as nice as possible for you guys. But yeah, I, I really, really like it. It looks nice, it's really productive, and yeah, I think it's a perfect addition into our little jungle area. Alright, so I was looking through the comments in the last episode, looking for a question of the day, but there wasn't really any questions. It was mostly just filled with, you know, positive comments and stuff like that, which I really appreciate. So, this episode, there won't be a comment of the day. I mean, that's, that's okay. It actually, because, you know, there doesn't have to be a question in every single episode, and I kind of like it that way, because... I don't know, when your questions do actually end up getting picked, it makes it even that much more special. So, instead of doing that, we are going to be heading into the village because I have some restocking to do. And a zombie pigment broke our freaking door, and I haven't replaced it yet. Alright, so we are back at the village, and which shop do we need to restock? Is it the Fections Perfections? Is it our Imaginative Ingage shop? Nope. It's our Wet Willy's Wool shop. We have to check to see what we're actually missing. Brown, orange, yellow, green. Okay, so everything, got it. <laughs> we actually have quite a job ahead of us. But thankfully, ow, our farm has been working overtime. So I'm gonna work on getting our inventory sorted and I'll be right back. All right, boys, this is the last color that we're stocking. Oh, and also from collecting profits, we have nine diamonds. So yeah, we're gonna take these final shulker boxes. I got all the grays and shit. And this has been my process. I literally just dump the stuff, pick it up, boom, boom, boom. Oh, shit. Hey, we're up to 15 now. And just like that, everything is at least halfway stocked. And I think that should be good for now. People very gradually use the wool. Anyways, though, that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.